Welcome back to ITNs. So uh, in this session we are going to look at uh, DDoS or distributed denial of service uh, attack and how we are, how Azure actually helps in mitigating uh, those attacks in, in the cloud, right? What are the options that Azure provides to mitigate that, right? So just briefly uh, speaking, what is DDoS or de distributed denial of service attack? Well, it is actually a target uh, to um, malign or to I mean overwhelm a traffic on an application so that it becomes unavailable to legitimate users. So that's how actually the um, the uh, attackers will attack the traffic on the application and then uh, it will become unavailable to the uh, to a normal user, right? So. What are the options uh, Azure is going to provide? And what are the tiers? What are the features? How we are going to mitigate uh, those things uh, in Azure? What all the smart things that Azure has in the cloud? Those are the things that we are going to look in this session. So, okay, great. And I'll, I'll see you in the session then. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So, in this session, we are going to look at DDoS, uh, that is called as uh, distributed denial of service, right? And how Azure mitigates those attacks, right? Let's get started. So, DDoS is part of the application protection service, uh, which is provided by Azure. And let's go in a bit about what is application protection service. So Azure Application Protection Service helps in protecting applications using any or a combined com or a combination of these network services in Azure, such as DDoS protection, Web Application Firewall, Azure Firewall, Network Service Groups, Virtual Network Service Endpoints, and Private Link. Right? And as I mentioned earlier, we are going to look at DDoS for this session. Let's take a moment uh, about what is uh, DDoS and then uh, we'll see about how Azure provides the protection. All right? DDoS as it is known as uh, distributed denial of service. DDoS attacks are some of the largest availability and security concerns facing customers that are moving their application to the cloud. Right? So a DDoS attack attempts to exhaust and application resources making the application unavailable to legitimate users. DDoS attacks can be targeted at any endpoint that is publicly reachable through the internet. Now Azure DDoS protection combined with application design best practices provide defense against DDoS attacks. Azure DDoS protection provides below uh, service tiers. One is basic and the other one is standard so what, what does azure basic uh, tier provides so azure ddos basic tier provides uh, it's actually automatically enabled as part of the azure platform and it is always on traffic monitoring and real-time mitigation of common network level attacks it provides the same defenses utilized by Microsoft's online services and the entire scale of Azure's global network can be used to distribute and mitigate attack traffic across regions and protection is provided for IPv4 and IPv6 Azure public IP addresses right whereas the standard uh, tier so standard tier provides additional mitigation capabilities over the basic service tier that are tuned specifically to Azure Virtual Network Resources. DDoS protection standard is simple to enable and requires no application charges. Protection policies are tuned through dedicated traffic monitoring and machine learning algorithms. Policies are applied to public IP addresses associated to resources 
deployed in virtual networks such as Azure Load Balancer, Azure Public or Application Gateway and Azure Service Fabric instances. But this protection does not apply to app service environments. Real-time telemetry is available through Azure Monitor Views during an attack and for historical information. Right? So application layer protection can be added through the Azure Application Gateway Web Application Firewall or by installing a third-party firewall from Azure Marketplace. Right? So uh, protection in standard also is provided for IPv4 and IPv6 Azure public IP addresses. Right? Great. Let's move to the next one. This one is actually about the comparison of the features that are available for both for basic and standard tier. So it's like, um, I mean, what are the, the features here and what, uh, I mean, if it is, uh, what is the level of that features that are available with both with basic and standard. So this is something which I'll leave for you for offline reading. All right. Great. Now let's discuss about the DDoS standard tier features that Azure provides, right? So DDoS protection standard features include a native platform integration. So with that, we get uh, natively integrated with Azure and it includes configuration through the Azure portal. DDoS protection standard understands the resources and resource configuration. The next one is turnkey protection. It has simplified configuration that immediately protects all resources on a virtual network as soon as DDoS protection standard is enabled. No intervention or user definition is required. DDoS protection standard instantly and automatically mitigates the attack once it is tested. Next one is always on traffic monitoring. So your application traffic patterns are monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week, looking for indicators of DDoS attacks and mitigation is performed when protection policies are exceeded. Adaptive tuning. So with adaptive tuning, you get intelligent traffic profiling, which learns your application's traffic over time and selects and updates the profile that is most suitable for your service. The profile adjusts as traffic changes over time. Multi-layered protection. It provides full stack DDoS protection when used with a web application firewall. It has an extensive me mechanism to provide the multi-layered protection. The next one is extensive mitigation scale. Over 60, it provides over 60 different attacks types can be uh, mitigated with global capacity to protect against the largest known DDoS attacks. All right. So next one is attack analytics. So it actually gets provides you a detailed report in, um, in, in the increment of every five minutes during an attack and a complete summary after the attack ends. It also stream uh, mitigation flow logs to and offline security information and event management that is SIEM system for near real time monitoring during an attack. Right. So the next one is alert metrics. Um, it actually provide, uh, provides uh, the summarized metrics for each attack uh, through Azure monitor. Right. And the next one is attack alerting. So with this, alerts can be configured at the start and the stop of the attack and over the attack's duration using built-in attack metrics. Now, alerts integrate into your operation software like Microsoft Azure, uh, Monitor Logs, Splunk, Azure Storage, Email, and Azure Portal. Right? And the last one is cost guarantee. So, uh, Microsoft Azure provides data transfer and application scale out service credits for documented DDoS attacks. Yeah, so that is that is the uh, support that Microsoft offers, and that's the seriousness that Microsoft offers. Right. Now let's move to the next one. Um, 
that is about uh, the uh, t arithmetic questions right so in this we are going to type uh, talk about uh, the types of ddos attacks that ddos uh, protection standard uh, mitigates uh, and can be used for right the first one is volumetric attack so these attacks flood the network layer with substantial amount of seemingly legitimate traffic they include udp floods amplication floods and other spoofed packet floods ddos production standard mitigates these potential multi gigabyte attacks by absorbing and scrubbing them with azure's global network scale automatically All right next one is protocol attacks so these attacks render a target inaccessible by exploiting a weakness in the layer 3 and layer 4 protocol stack right that's a very important point yeah they include sin flood attacks reflection attacks and other protocol attacks ddos protection standard mitigates these attacks differentiating between malicious and legitimate traffic by interacting with the client and blocking malicious traffic resource or application layer attacks so these attacks target web application packets to disrupt the transmission of data between hosts they include http protocol violations sql injections cross site scripting and other layer 7 attacks it uses a web application firewall such as azure uh, application gateway web application uh, firewall which we are going to discuss about it in in the coming sessions and also it also uses ddos protection standard to provide defense against these attacks so there are also third party web application firewall offerings available in the microsoft uh, azure marketplace all right now um, ddos protection standard protects uh, resources in your virtual network including public ip addresses associated with uh, virtual machines load balancers and application gateways when coupled with the application gateway uh, web application firewall or the third party web application firewall deployed in a virtual network with a public ip ddos protection standard can provide full layer 3 to layer 7 mitigation capabilities all right so during uh, mitigation traffic is sent to the protected resources is redirected to ddos protection service okay and several checks are performed such as um, it ensures packet conformed to internet uh, specifications are not malformed and interact with the client to determine if the traffic is potentially a spoofed packet example uh, sin auth or sin cookie or by dropping a packet for so to retransmit again rate limit packets um, if no other enforcement method can be performed all right so ddos protection blocks attack uh, traffic and forwards the remaining traffic to its intended destination with a, within a few minutes of attack detection uh, you are notified using a azure monitoring metrics and by configuring logging on ddos protection uh, standards uh, you can write the log to avail options to for future analysis metric data in azure monitor for ddos protection standard is retained for 30 days also i would actually wanted to uh, inform you guys uh, that microsoft has partnered with the breaking point cloud to build an interface where you can generate traffic against ddos protection enabled public ip addresses for simulation um, and the breaking point the breakpoint cloud simulation allows you to validate how microsoft azure ddos protection center protects your azure resources from uh, ddos attacks and also it helps in optimize your uh, incident response process while under ddos attack yeah great uh, that's all for this session for uh, more in learning and additional information you can visit to the sites yeah if in case you're liking these sessions then uh, please go ahead and click on the like icon 
also please do subscribe to the channel uh, so that uh, you can get uh, notified with all the updates whenever uh, the uh, whenever I upload new videos right great uh, that's all guys for now keep watching and keep learning thank you